I'm a fan of this movie. You guys had such a good camaraderie. Your energy played off of each other so well. How, what was it like? How did you guys build that, that camaraderie with each other? It was just organic. It was, yeah, it we just... set out to build it. Yeah, it's very hard. Chemistry is such a strange thing. It's very hard mm -hmm. to define what it is. And because of that, it's very hard to, to, to get it when you don't have it. I, I mean, I don't know what, like, magic goes into mm -hmm. that cocktail, but part mm -hmm. of it has to be really loving and respecting the other person. Yeah. And, and I think we had that, you know, we really, really liked each other off, off camera. And yeah. I think you can feel that even though we don't like each other in the movie, I think mm -hmm. you, you still feel that sort of something that's between us. I think you did. It did come across that you liked each other, even though you kind of have this kind of antagonism <laughs> with each other. But it just seemed like you had that underlying warm and fuzzy feeling. Mm -hmm. What do you think makes this different from the usual cop and buddy feature film? Because it was it was totally different from anything I've seen before. Oh, I thank think, you. Yeah, I think that has a lot to do with it. I think our chemistry we just play off each other well. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also think there's a lot of heart in this film. I think there's actual s story, and I think there's a lot to talk about. Uh, and we do. We openly talk about it, and uh, it's kind of it's kind of in your face, but it leaves you, you know, it leaves you with something to talk about after the movie's over. Mm -hmm. um, I think the heart and the action as well. So it means it's not like there's no there's no down points of this move, move, movie. It keeps moving well. It flows well. It's entertaining throughout. You're a definitely an accomplished comedian, but your energy with him just was very comedic in how you delivered your lines. Mm -hmm. Do you intentionally set out to be funny? Like, if I'm going to do it this way, <laughs> it's going to really pop. No, I think... Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. But I think I, I... For some reason, I think it's... I'm Naturally, I'm a good a straight man. I mm -hmm. think I'm just a very dry and monotone person. Mm -hmm. So I think I was, yeah, yeah it's definitely a, a strength. And what do you think? What do you think of his comedic chops? I thought he was so time? funny. He keeps saying that he's not funny, and I don't, I honestly I don't, don't find myself funny. I don't understand what he's talking about, <laughs> because I find him very funny. And, you know, in a role like this, you know, it, it works if you're, you really have to not be not tried to be funny, you mm -hmm. know. Like, his character is not a guy who, who yeah. thinks himself is funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. what Dave did really well in the movie is really like play the moments and play the situation and not like try and be funny because that's always, always, always the death of comedy. I sat down yeah. with your castmates a few minutes ago and asked them about crazy Uber stories. And Natalie said she almost got kidnapped in an what? Uber before. What happened? She was going somewhere that her driver didn't Man, really for women, follow the it's GPS. Hard. It's mm -hmm. hard. I, I think it's... It's scary. Ubers yeah. are scary. When's the last time you took? A, <laughs> when's the last time either of you took an Uber? Well, I took a Lyft yeah. yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I was I was home all week, so it's been more than a week. But I take them here in L.A. I, t I live in Tampa, mm -hmm. and I, I use them in Tampa. You know, especially if I if I go out. Sometimes I go out to a theater that you know serves drinks, so I want to have a an adult drink. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I will. Uh, I won't drive. I'm really paranoid about drinking and driving. All right. Thank you, gentlemen.